I think we have a leak. Yeah, perfect. Stupid bullshit trophy. Was? I messed it up. I'm done. The Jeep is on the pump. The Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a leak. Really? Yeah, look at that. Mm, then we are going to seal it again. Yeah. Great. We are finally at the workshop. Today we have in mind to make three things. First, the leak in the window from last week. Secondly, we have some rust to take care of. Third would be the grand finale. Maybe we can finish the water system. When we first bought the van, it was a mess. There was rust everywhere. First, we did a couple of things to prevent the rust and get rid of the rust, but we weren't quite experienced in it. So now we have to do it again. Right now we have kind of a big hole about two centimeters wide in our van and we need to fix that. We're gonna use a rust converter first. Then second we're gonna close the hole with this liquidish metal thing that's gonna go on top of it. And it's gonna dry and it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be metal. It's, uh, it's made of aluminium, it says. And then the third part is gonna be just some rust stop paint that's gonna go some rust protection on top of it and we really hope that this is gonna do the job because it's it's a little bit scary so this is actually a downside from Mercedes that's at least something I have heard so many times it's really prone to rust and as you can see a week ago we painted this with the spray and there's already some rust coming up and this is the hole clearly and now we need to kind of get rid of this rusty things and um, do the paint again. It's dead! Our second part is to seal the window again. We have some water inside, right about here, there uh, is a leak. So we have this idea. From any different um, sealing or adhesives, we're going to take this one from uh, Sikaflex, mainly because it should do what we need and it's black. But before we are going to put on the adhesive, we tape the window and the chassis so it won't look too ugly. That's good. A little tip, often there are some lines just cut more than uh, you have it. finished we just let it dry now until it gets a little more sticky stable not stable, stable. <laughs> and then we take away the tape the tape goes on the window and uh, just see if we need to fix something again and see what was the problem yeah great didn't hold Part 
part three of today, we're going to maybe finish the water system. We have made a hole here to open up with a key that no one is urinating inside of it. So we can open it up and get water from anywhere. And inside, underneath the bed, we do have a tank. Let me show you. Here's the opening, the hole, but we connect it with this tube. So if you fill in water, it will flow inside of this 86 liter water tank. The next step will be to cut a hole inside of this tank that we can fit in this little pump and connect the pump with the kitchen so we can pump the water from the tank to the kitchen. Yeah. This is the connector from the tank outside again to the tube. At the one end of the tube we are going to have a splitter here. One tube will flow to the kitchen sink and the other one to a shower which we are going to install uh, sometime. We're going to need those holders so that the tube won't fill out. At the end we are going to install this little water meter so we always know how much water we have left inside of the tank. That's the theory, let's see how we do it. A well, little tip, uh, we already put some holes inside of the tank and we found out that these tools are perfect for it. You only need to know how big the hole should be, then you can easily put it on. Just go as far as you need. We are going to put the hole somewhere near here. That's because we do not want to have the tube in front of anything. And secondly, we want to easily access the pump if needed. It's near the big hole. It's not in the way of anything. It's not in the way of anything. Yeah, perfect. Stupid bullshit trophy. What? So we made a mistake. We can't put the thing from inside of it because there are some marks. Now we have the other idea. We are going to make another hole just for the water pump. And this big one we are going to use for the electricity. But to fix that, because it's too big, we need some uh, plexiglass and we'll uh, glue it without touching the water afterwards. Every time in this fine build you just have an idea, you do it, you don't check everything and then you have things like that. But that's okay. professionally. This is the pump which we connected with a tube. The tube is connected with an adapter, connects the water inside and the outside together and those little things just press the whole tube on those two things that the water can't come out. What are you doing again? I forgot something. I forgot to put this thing on and now it's too late. To apologize. <laughs> Let's cut it. Then I have to do it. I have to do it again. Yeah. I don't want to do it again. This is not my philosophy. You're gonna break it. I'm not gonna break it. It's supposed to be flexible. It's not breakable. Now the tube is long enough. Yeah! And we're gonna connect the water tank with our faucet. figured out you can easily open those uh, things all the way up and then clamp it and put it back together. Makes things way easier. Part three of today is kind of finished. We prepared the tank, we cleaned it, we made two big holes. The pump is inside and as you can see from here the tube connects all the way to the faucet of the kitchen. The tube is coming until here to the to the splitter, to the Y piece, the one that will connect directly to the faucet for drinking or cleaning, whatever. 
and the other one which isn't connected yet will be the shower you just have to connect the cold water uh, if you only have cold water like we do and the hot water you need to put on a stopper here so otherwise it will flow through and you have a sea in your car when we look closely to those connectors um, as we connected our main tube here you need some pieces to put all these things together but you can find them like everywhere where you find um, anything to install water at your home and an important part that it doesn't uh, leak anywhere if you connect something like this a tube with a connector you need to make it tight tight so there are two ways as, as, as far as we know that you can tighten up those screws the first is with a special tape or the other one would be the one we used the old school way with hemp and some Vaseline I think when you check for your water taps also check if it's compatible with uh, low pressure pumps this tank here is the gray weather tank we have kind of a hybrid it's a 20 liter tank just to um, collect the gray water we will install another connector that will flow out the gray water if you want and because we do use a clean soap and everything like that it won't be a problem for the environment at some points it worked kind of well looks even great and on the others it kind of comes with it but we waited for two hours i guess it's still a bit sticky so i'm going to press it again inside of it basically we put so much sika flex inside that it should be underneath so this is mainly optical film with it i messed it up pop dummy normal it looks little I'm done.